Hey everybody and welcome to part 13, Core Fundamentals of Web Development. In this video, we're going to create a full screen pop-up for our add link form. And then in the following video, we'll do this little animation to have it drop down. So the full screen pop-up is something that I use in a lot of different scenarios. Uh, use it at work, use it on personal projects. And it's just this idea that you've got a pop-up here. It has, actually it takes up the entire space on the screen so you can't click on anything above it so it forces the user to have to interact with this before they can go on and do something else and then it grays out the background to let you know that you're doing something in the foreground and you can't really work in the background right now so that's what we want to that's the effect that we want to get so we'll go ahead and get started and what we first want to do I want to come in and take this add link panel and I want to wrap it in a div with an ID of add link container so we just want to wrap it with something and give it a class of full screen opaque. All right, so let's start off with that. So we want to move this div down here. All right, so that's not going to change anything yet. So now we can come over to our CSS. And first let's do the full screen opaque. And this is going to be kind of one of our global styles. So let's come into global here. And let's do full screen. And we want this to be position absolute And then we want it to take up the entire screen. So top, zero, left, zero, right, zero, and bottom, zero. And let me give this a background color real quick. So we'll do an RGBA. So we're basically gonna do black with an alpha of 0 0.85. So let's save this. Now we should see this kind of overlays on top of everything else. Uh, and actually not quite the way we want. We need to set the Z index here to five. This is going to put um, on the Z axis, basically we're trying to put this above everything else. So if we save, we should see now everything else goes to the background. So this is what our full screen opaque class does. It takes up the entire screen. It gives it a background color here, background color of basically black with, an op with, an, with some opacity to it. So we also want to, uh, let's say, let's start out by showing our hidden are showing our panel say this and we should see our panel pop up here and notice that it is uh, not really taking up exactly what we want so what we can do is come in and select our add link container let's come back down to our form say add link container and we want this to be a display flex and we basically want to center this horizontally and vertically. So if you remember how to do that on our main axis is justify content center and then align items center as well. That should move things down to the middle of the screen which is exactly what we see here. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now we want to be able to toggle this on and off. So if I hit cancel here, it closes just the, uh, just the form that sits on top of the full screen opaque background. But now we want to basically change that to be our add link container. So we want to show and hide that add link container. So let's come in and grab our add link container. All right, so we've got our add link container here. Now, instead of toggling, so let's say our show form panel, let's come down and find those functions. Instead of toggling the add link panel, we want to get the add link container. All right, paste that in there. So now, and let's start it off with a class of hidden. And if I look here, applying that hidden class, see, applying this hidden class did not have it hide initially. So if I reload, it's still going to be here. Now, this is one of the really big benefits of coming in and looking at your uh, Chrome console, the developer tools. You can select our add link container element. You see that it's trying to get the display of none, but the full screen opaque class, or actually, sorry, the display flex that we've got on the container is overriding our display hidden. So remember, this is in order of precedence. So an ID selector is more specific than a class selector. So there's lots of different ways that I could solve this. One of which is to come in and add our add link container and say if we get an ID of add link container and then a class of hidden, uh, set the display to none. Now I think this should work here because what we've got is an ID selector followed by a class selector, which is more specific than our add link container ID selector by itself. 
So let's see, we've got our plus icon. This should show the full screen form. All right, that looks good. Then we cancel and it'll come back to what we want. So that looks pretty good. That's what we want. We just want this effect of being able to pop up something, have it take up the entire screen and prevent the user from interacting with anything behind it before they finish working with what has popped up. And it gives them a nice little effect of it, it, it's got a grayed out background, so you can't you kind of understand you're working in the foreground, not in the background. And I think it gives the user a good piece of feedback, and it's a clean solution. And now our ad form does not take space on here. So this stays consistent, and we just pop up our ad link form. So that's going to do it for this video. This was a quick one, and really what it is is just to get you guys prepared for our next video where we're going to talk about animations, and we're going to actually add the animation effect to popping open our ad link form. So notice this little slide down animation. That's what we're going to add in the next video. And then that's going to wrap it up for the series. So I hope you guys are excited and I'll see you in the next video.